The month of October was certainly busy with Halloween, school being in full swing, and work picking up again for me, but I did make some really good sales, and I'm excited to share them with you in today's What's Sold video. To those of you who are new here who just clicked on this video or if it just showed up in your YouTube rotation, welcome. My name is Veronica. I'm a part-time reseller. I primarily sell women's clothing on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and sometimes Depop. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about my sales in October of 2023. So October was uh, a good month overall in terms of sales. I will preface it by saying that I think having my having relisted my entire closet in the month of September definitely helped bring some fresh eyes on certain items. And then I also started listing new items again in October and several of those sold within that same month. So that's great for me because my items usually tend to sit for a little bit more than a month um, on average. So definitely an exciting month and my numbers were pretty good compared to what they have been in previous previous months. So without further ado, let's talk about my sales during the spooky month of the year. My first sale in October was this pair of girlfriend, which is spelled without the vowels, so G-R-L-F-R-N-D. Uh, girlfriend denim, new attire, Carolina dark red button fly high rise skinny jeans, the size 29. I sourced these from BHFO uh, on a re online retail arbitrage uh, haul that I shared in this video a while ago. And they finally sold. Um, I had them listed for way higher. They retail for, gosh, I don't know, probably 200 bucks. And I ended up selling them for 50. I think I had them listed around 100 initially. Somebody offered me 50. It was the first actual offer I got. And they have been listed for over a year. So I took that $50 offer. Uh, they sold on Poshmark. So after fees and cost of goods, which was about $7 for that, every item in that box, I make a profit of $33 and I'm happy with that. I wish they would have sold faster. I wish I would have gotten offers faster, but you know, retail arbitrage is a bit of a gamble more so than sourcing from the bits. Then I sold these Jeffrey Campbell uh, black rubber Chelsea ankle rain boots, um, booties in a size 10. These came from my own closet. I did buy them for myself on Poshmark over two years ago and I think I wore them once or twice maybe and they were just a little too narrow for me and so I just had them sitting around and I finally decided when I was moving back to Virginia from New Jersey I decided to just list them also I had just picked up two very similar pairs of Jeffrey Campbell's so I'm like it, this is the right season to list these it's fall you know it's rainy people need these kinds of items so I listed them and I ended up selling them for $19 on Posh nope for $19 on eBay which is not great for Jeffrey Campbell but they're also very basic Jeffrey Campbell. So I make a profit of $15 because I just put my cost of goods as zero because I purchased them for myself like years ago and I just had them sitting around in my house. Another shoe sale on eBay, these lucky brand Eilina Black Suede uh, Western black suede western ankle booties. My house is loud today. I have a dryer running, I have a washer running. It's There's a lot going on. Um, these sold on eBay, like I said, for $19.50 and I had about $2 into them. I think they came from the bins a while ago. And yeah, my profit for these is $13.70. These were listed for about three months, a little less than three months. So that's, that's pretty good. Then I sold a pair of little kids Crocs, but Frozen themed Crocs. They were not Disney licensed and I did put that in the listing because I wanted to make sure that you know people are aware of that. They sold on Macari for $18. That includes free shipping for the buyer so I pay for shipping which was $4.09 and so I make a profit of $9.89 because these came from the bins and I had $1.20 into these. Very lightweight. I love selling kids crocs um, or just you know like croc type shoes. They were not actual crocs. So I just listed them as you know unlicensed Disney water shoes and they sold. Next up, we have a new with tag uh, sweater dress in this olive green by Venus. Um, it's a department store mall brand that I don't really pick up, but this came to me in a Goodwill Blue Book where the cost of goods was basically as low as going to the bins. I had $1.59 into this dress and it ended up selling for 12 on eBay. That was about half of what I had it listed for, but somebody offered me that and I was like, just fine, take it. Um, cause I, it's not something I would have sourced. It was cute. I liked it, but I would not have picked that up um, from the bins maybe, but not at a regular thrift store. So I make $8.41 on it and I had this listed for about four months. Then I made 
a decent sale on also Macari, surprisingly. Uh, these Varley Luna leggings in this brown alligator pattern. They're a full-length legging in a size extra small. These came to me in a Thread Up Active Brands box, and I think it was the one I unboxed together with Glamour over on her channel a while ago, um, back in May or June. I listed them in June, so they were listed for four months. They sold on Macari for $48. Again, I paid for the shipping on Macari, which was $4.44, and I make a profit of $33.27. Next up, a pair of shoes that came to me from my my friend Chloe when we did a Secret Santa um, swap with Glamma and Chloe and me and she got me and she sent me these Steve Mann little patent leather uh, flats in a size 10. I did wear them once or twice but I just don't have enough clothing that I find goes well with like a cream colored shoe. It's not really something um, I pick up but they were comfy and in good condition so I listed them. I put in my cost of goods as zero for those and they sold for $15 on eBay and I make a profit of $12. And I will say when we do Secret Santas, especially with, you know, fellow reseller friends, it's always implied that you can either keep stuff for yourself or you can resell it. Like, we, we, we get it. We don't mind. Like, nobody's offended. If you can make money off of something I'm giving you and that just doesn't work out for you, I love that for you. Next, I sold this Elo Queen New With Tags bodysuit that sold on Poshmark um, for $22. That was an offer to Likers that I sent out. So I make a profit of $12.08. I had $3.50 into it. This actually came from the ThreadUp outlet and I sourced the, the outlet or a sale that they were running um, when it was actually a really good sale. It was like 90% off and I got items for pretty pretty cheap like 350 that's uh you know thrift store price this one i think they had it listed as like land's end or something like that it was something that was not eloquia but i could see the tag in the picture and i was like yeah we're gonna pick that up because it's new with tags and it's eloquia which is not a super high seller for me but it's popular enough to where i'm you know certain pieces i'm comfortable um selling those and picking them up for like three four bucks so sold for 22 uh, on an offer to Lycra, I make 12.08 on this one, and it was listed for less than three months. Next up, another item that I uh, got in a good old blue box, same blue box as the Venus dress, this pair of Dickies new with tags, relaxed fit work shorts for men. They sold for $9 on eBay. That was an offer I received. I debated taking it, but honestly, I think I had them listed for 15. And how, how much are you gonna get for a pair of Dickies shorts? You know, new with tags or not, doesn't really matter. So I make a profit of $5.61, which for an item that I did not care for at all and that just ended up in my house is fine by me. Hold please while I check on my Walmart order substitutions. How are you out of lemons? <sighs> Next up, another item, uh, a men's item that I had relisted in September, um, previously listed it in the summer of 2022. And so I've had this for a while. Um, it's a pair of Maui and Sons swim trunks um, in a size 30, which is roughly a size small. I think it's an Australian brand. So I had to find a size chart. Uh, these sold for 15 on Poshmark and I had a cost of goods of $1.20 because they came from the bins uh, many years ago. And this was an offer I sent out and they accepted. I make a profit of $8.78. Definitely an item that I would send to ThreadUp if ThreadUp accepted men's clothing because I was sitting on it for so long and I was kind of getting tired of it. And then I made a very quick sale. This item sold within a day of listing. It's a pair of Merrill Kids Snowdrift waterproof snow boots. I picked those up at the thrift uh, not too long ago, but it took me a minute to list them um, because I just hadn't gotten around to taking pictures of shoes. So these sold for 25 on Poshmark. Um, that was an offer I received. I can get them listed for 30 and my profit is 16 after fees and my $4 cost of goods. So good, good quick flip. Happy with that. Love selling kids snow boots. And this is not the last pair uh, that I've sold in the last month, month and a half. Next up, we got another baby sale on eBay, <laughs> a pair of Yogalicious Lux dark purple biker shorts and a size large. These also came from a thread up. Active Brands box, so I had $3.60 into them. They sold for $12.99 on eBay. I make $6.79, and that's about accurate for a for an active for a brand that's nice, but it's sold at Walmart. Like it's not that great. Like it's even it's sold at Marshalls and like TJ Maxx too. So that's usually how you know it's just not gonna fetch that much. So it's fine. Uh, another active brand item I also got in a thread of box, uh, the one that I unboxed with Glamour, I believe. This pair of a Nike drawstring uh, jogger trousers in light gray with these white accents. Really nice pair of joggers, actually, in, in really good condition. 
This sold on eBay for $18.99. I make a profit of $11.79 because I had $3.60 into it from the Active Brands box. And yet another baby sale. Well, not really actually. Um, <laughs> this was okay. Uh, this was a Zara brown like turtleneck sweater that came from a thread up box, like a regular thread up box. I had $3.50 into that one. It sold for $20 um, on Macari and after fees, that cost of goods and also my shipping expenses because I pay for shipping on Macari. I make $8.09 and uh, nothing crazy, but happy it sold. It was very basic and for such a basic item, it got a lot of likes. And every time I relisted it, uh, I think I may have relisted it twice, it got a lot of likes. So I was surprised by that. Another baby sale, this time on Poshmark, this Old Navy a square neck sleeveless tie waist um, midi sheath dress. This also came from some sort of rescue box uh, or Goodwill blue box, I don't remember which one, I had $2.50 into it. And this sold for $11 on Poshmark. I make a profit of $5.55. How exciting. It was a cute dress, I will say that. Otherwise I would not have listed it. Um, I, don't, I don't exclude Old Navy from my listings, especially the active wear I like to sell and their larger sizes. This one, it was a cute dress. It was just nothing crazy. So I'm happy that it sold and hopefully was is enjoyed by somebody. Then I made a super quick sale. This sold within like less than two days of listing. Uh, and I just talked about it in a live. I had picked up this Snoopy Peanuts um, Halloween pajama set at the bins uh, by Monkey Monkey, um, N M U N K I, and I've sold this brand before, and it sold you know for a decent amount for sleepwear. So I listed this set on eBay. It was the top was a different size than the bottoms, but they like went together. Like one was an extra large, one was an one X. So I did point that out and take pictures of it and everything, and everything was fine. They loved it. This sold for full price on eBay. Like I said, within less than two days of listing for thirty eight dollars, and I make a profit of twenty seven eighty because I only had two dollars and eighty cents into it. Um, my average cost of goods at the bins that day was one forty. It's two items, so less than three dollars into this pajama um, pair, and it was definitely seasonal and it sold right before Halloween on the 15th um, of the, on the 14th of October so that was a great quick flip and I should really get my stuff my seasonal stuff listed uh, this fast all the time so it has a chance to sell for the uh, respective holiday another quick flip and really good uh, sale which I knew as soon as I found these they were gonna be a good sale um, within a couple of days I sold the Sam Edelman Ray flats uh, in this dark floral brocade jacquard bird pattern they were in a size 13 um they were beautiful and in a large size so i picked them up from the thrift for about four bucks they sold on ebay for 30 and i make a profit of 20 after marketplace fees and cost of goods and all of that loved these i wish they would have been in my size but they made me money so that's okay another pair of shoes that i picked up i think um on the same thrift trip as the same elements was this pair of crocs new with tag stretch so flat uh in this light gray um color <laughs> these canvas flats uh were in a size seven and i had four dollars into those these sold on poshmark as part of a bundle and i so i split it out of what they paid on the bundle in total and i allocated twenty dollars to the crocs so sold for 20 i make 12 dollars in profit on those and they were also just listed for about five days and then with those Crocs sold a beta brand dress for, again, what I allocated to come out to $32 uh, for this bundle um, on Poshmark. This was like a color block dress, career dress in a size large. And I got this from Poshmark from a seller who constantly puts out really good stuff for like a really low price. So every once in a while I bundle some of her things and I have another sale uh, from, from that bundle, which may have happened in November. So I don't think it's gonna be in this video. But yeah, I had about $12 into this dress and it sold for 32. So I make a profit of $13.60. And like I said, this was a bundle that sold the dress and the new attack croc uh, flats sold together in a bundle on Poshmark. That was my first bundle sale in a bazillion years. And then I sold something else that came from my slash my kid's personal closet, uh, this Hannah Anderson bright green and blue fluffy kids winter jacket. He wore that for several years. I had actually purchased this on Poshmark from my friend Margaret. And uh, yeah, my kid wore that for several years and then I ended up selling it. I don't remember what I paid for it, but he wore it. It came from our house. I have a cost of goods of zero. So I sold it for 12 on Poshmark and I make a profit of $9.60. It was in great shape still. So very happy to support a friend by buying from them. Have some for my kid to wear for probably two years and then being able to sell it again that is that is my favorite thing about 
reselling. Next up, I sold another active wear item, this Fabletics Mosa Global Geometric Print Colorful Eraser Brick Top. This also came from the Threaded Box I unboxed with Glamour, so good time to sell active wear, apparently. This sold for $13 on Poshmark. That's, you know, it's about appropriate for Fabletics tops these days. And it was an offer to Liker, so I only make $4.43 on this. Cost of goods. My cost of goods was $3.60, so I basically doubled my money and then some, but yeah. Not not super exciting, probably would not have picked it up, but it did have the hang tag, so there's that. Then we have a pair of Torrent Stretch uh, Jeggings, leggings uh, in a size 14 tall, so good size. I like finding short and tall sizes, um, especially tall sizes, because as a tall person myself, I'm kind of like on the cusp between regular size and tall. Um, it's sometimes hard to find something that fits the way you want it to fit. So these Torrent jeans sold on eBay for $18.88. That may have been an offer they sent, or I may have just sent multiple offers at once and just said you know take off 18% and that's what it came out to. Either way I had about $3.90 into these and after fees and such and the cost of goods I make $11.98 and that is about where you know I expect to end up with Torrid jeans these days. They don't sell as fast anymore as they used to and for as much but they still sell so if I only have like three four bucks into them I will still pick them up. Okay, then I had a crazy fast sale, and it's the most random item. Um, I was listing, I was hanging out on StreamYard with Patrick Murphy, um, as we do a lot of times. We just, you know, hang out, work together, chit chat, that sort of thing. And so I'm listing these Nike golf shorts in this like brown color, and I list them. And in Vendu, I have eBay, Poshmark, and then Macari. And with eBay, I always get an email saying, Congratulations, your item was listed. So I look back to my email inbox because it helps me keep track of how many items I've listed. It's just, you know, whatever unread emails from eBay I have, that's what I've listed. And I see another email right on top of that saying, you know, it's so I have an, an email saying your Nike shorts were listed. And then right on top of that, I see an email three minutes later. No joke. Congratulations, your Nike golf shorts were sold on Poshmark. So they must have sold within like two minutes of being listed on Poshmark. It was so insanely fast and it was somebody who didn't have a Poshmark account. So they must have searched for them or have an alert set for them. But it's such a random item. Like they're brown Nike golf shorts that I picked up from the fifth and was like, yeah, we'll give it a try. They were marked at a dollar, but I had an average cost of goods of $4. So long story short, you never know. Um, these sold for $22 full price on Poshmark. I make a profit of $13.60. And yeah, they were listed for less than five minutes. Did not see that coming, but a very welcome quick sale. I was a little paranoid that they were canceling because I'm like, this, this must be a mistake. Like, I don't understand. All right, next up, a an item that I had for over a year, picked up from the bins um, quite a while ago. This new with tag Ava and Viv, which is Target's plus size brand, a checkered gingham, a black and white tunic top um, in a size, I think, four, yeah, 4X. This eventually sold on Poshmark on an offer to Liker for $13, and after the shipping discount, cost of goods, which was a dollar from the bins, and the marketplace fees, I make $7.03. So would I pick this up again? I mean, knowing myself, I probably would. Should I pick this up again? No, probably not. But, you know, we made somebody happy. I will say, I think I picked up two Avon Viv tops. I remember that um, on this trip, both new with tags. And the other one sold really fast. So it, you just never know. I thought this one was cuter, but that's just me. And then I sold a Free People Going For Gold Lurex Glitter Faux Wrap Sweater in a size extra large. That actually was pretty true to size for Free People, which is surprising. That also came from like a blue box uh, where I only had $1.59 into each item. It sold on Poshmark on an offer to Leica for $26. So after all fees and all of that, I make a profit of $17.19. Next up, another shoe sale, also an item from a thread box. Uh, this time... A shoebox, naturally. These Rocket Dog Grey Moto Faux Leather Laser Cut Ankle, laser cut ankle Booties sold on Poshmark for $18. That was an offer to Liker, and I make a profit of $7.92. I had $3.50 into them from this thread up box. I think it was a shoebox that was on sale, because normally my cost of goods is not that low with thread up shoe boxes. So I was okay with that. It's not something I would pick up at the thrift or the bins, but since they came into my house and were in good shape um, and kind of cute, I listed and sold them. 
Then I sold a Kieran Millen sweater that I got from the bins. Um, cost of goods was $1.11 on that one. I sold this sweater on eBay for $25. That was an offer I received. I had it listed much higher initially, but it had like a small, small, tiny flaw. Not a like major one, but I wanted to disclose it. There was like a little pull um, on the inside. And so I make a profit of $18.99 and they really liked the sweater. It left me really nice feedback. So that's always nice. All right, another quick sale sold within the same day of listing offer I received on these Athleta black high-waisted tailored trousers, zipper pocket and ankle accent pants. I don't have pants in my title. I do have trouser, so there's that. They were in a size 10 petite, um, and I'm very like hesitant with petite sizes. I do understand there are petite people out there who need clothing. It's just these items never sell fast for me, so this was a surprise. Um, this person offered me 34. I think I had them probably listed for 40, and so after fees and all that, cost of goods, $4. I make a profit of $23.20, and they sell it within the same day, and I love that. Especially after not listing for an entire month and only relisting, I really loved seeing, you know, some of my newer items sell so quickly. Uh, this one is not one of those. This next one, this pair of AGL Etio Giusti Leon Bruni. I'm not even going to try. This Italian dude with pricey shoes. <laughs> These sh black shimmer suede belay flats in a size 10. Um, US size 10. Sold on eBay for $28.79. Don't know who sent that offer. And I make $20.29. These came from a regular thrift store. It is an expensive brand, but I guess it's kind of niche, so people don't really look for it. Um, they had sold before, once before on eBay, and were sent back because they didn't fit right. So I've had them for a while. Another shoe sale. I definitely sold a lot of shoes this month, um, which I was happy about because they take up space. These Vans in a dusty blue color, um, low top canvas sneakers in a size six women's, four and a half men's, so pretty small. So on a Poshmark, I don't offer to like her for $21 and after fees and shipping discount and my cost of goods, I make $11.28. These came from a thread up box as well, I believe. So good, good thread up shoe and other box sales this month. The next day, it was kind of funny because I was showing it in Glamour's Classy Crap auction when I was showing my little Christmas lot. Um, and then I don't think I relisted it right after that. I didn't have it delisted and then somehow it sold. So this uh, CB Career with Tax Petite Christmas Ornament Cardigan, um, this very like embellished silver beading stars, whatever ornament number, uh, sold for $15 on eBay. And that was an offer I received and I took it because this also came from a Goodwill blue box. I had two bucks into it. I make $10 in profit, which is fine. So Christmassy items started to sell for me, which is good to see because I have a few more that I would hope will move before this Christmas. Then I sold a brazier, a third love 24 seven lace contour plunge bra in this like soft pink creamish color. It was very hard to get this color right in the pictures and then the stock photo looked different and I was very bothered by that part. I tried to describe it as much as I could. Um, this sold for $23 on Poshmark. I make a profit of $14.45 and I had $3.95 into it from a regular thrift store. I think I picked this up on Dollar Day where again, my cost of goods was higher. And then one of my favorite jeans brands to sell a pair of distressed Judy Blue um, skinny ankle jeans with a raw hem. These sold on Poshmark for $33. I had four bucks into these. I did send this offer, so there was a shipping discount. So I make $20.38. These were listed for a little over a month. So uh, happy to see these go quickly. Love selling Judy Blue still, um, still does well for me in that $30 to $40 range. Then I sold some shoes that I've also had for a while. These Petey Pet, Petey Pet, um, Little Kids, uh, High Top Sneakers. They sold for $22 on Poshmark. Um, I make a profit of $15.90. And I want to say this was a full price sale. I think they just came in and bought them. Um, and I had them for almost a year. So happy to see those go. We have more shoes coming up. So I hope I hope you like seeing shoe sales. Uh, I sold a pair of Tiva Hydro Slip-On Shoes in this um, purple suede leather upper very cute they were size eight if they had been a 10 they would have been mine there's an ambulance going by so anyway these sold on ebay for 30 dollars. i make a profit of 26 and i believe that was a full price sale as well they were listed for 11 days so 
happy to see them move through quickly. And then another pair of shoes, these uh, CL by Laundry, um, like Chinese Laundry, full zip knee high black faux suede boots. I got these from the bins a while ago and only because they were in good condition and they were really cute. I don't usually pick up Chinese Laundry or Dirty Laundry, any of those laundry type brands for shoes, but you know, I had $1.50 into them. They sold for $23 on Poshmark and I make a profit of $16.90. And it is the right kind of weather and season to wear these boots, so. Happy to see them go again. They took up space and now they're gone. Then I saw the Columbia Olive Green Crewneck Sweater, Ripped Sweater in size medium. This also came from a Goodwill Blue Box. I had two bucks into this and it sold on eBay for $21.99. And I make a profit of $15.99 on this Columbia sweater and it was listed for over a year. So good riddance. Let me know in the comments down below where your like cutoff is for, you know, how long do you keep items until you either uh, donate them, send them to thread up, etc., take new pictures. I mean, relisting, I'm, I'm trying to relist uh, my items a little bit faster. So, but I'm also trying to, you know, let them, let them gather some interest on the platforms. But yeah, once we get like past a year and a half, I'm like, okay, you need to go. You've been here long enough. But this one was not. This one sold within a day of listing uh, on eBay. This cabby, modest, skirted legging, uh, layered mini skirt pair of leggings. Um, I always list these as like a modest legging and they always sell really fast. So I love picking those up. I had four bucks into them from a thrift store. They sold for 28 on eBay. I think that there was a little bit of negotiating, negotiating back and forth going on because I did list them a little bit higher because I knew I could. So <laughs> 28 is totally fine for me. I make a profit of 19 and they sold within, like I said, a day. So happy with that particular sale. Another pair of leggings that I also just picked up are these Spanx black faux leather power waistband full length slimming leggings in a size small. These sold for $28 on Poshmark. That's on the lower end of what I would like for this particular style of Poshmark, uh, of leggings by Spanx because I've sold this exact one several times and it usually goes for like 35 to 40. So 28, again, there was some negotiation going on there and I eventually agreed to 28. I make a profit of $18.40. Um, I had four bucks into them and they were listed for 10 days. So can't complain about that part. This item I had for God knows how long. At some point I, I found it in my inventory and realized it wasn't listed anymore. So I don't know what happened there, but it was this uh, Charmosa blue beach cover up tunic top. I got this from the bins eons ago um, and it sold for $12.50 on eBay. I had a dollar into it from the bins. Again, way back when I make nine bucks and honestly that should have been gone. <laughs> much sooner but also if for some reason your ebay your listing drops off ebay and doesn't show up anymore or like be probably before i moved everything to vendu um and it's not listed then it obviously can't sell so i don't know what happened there but i'm happy it's gone now another item that i had for over a year was this pair of lands and kits uh waterproof insulated winter snow pants in this fuchsia pink color these sold on poshmark for 17 dollars on an offer to liker i make 10 dollars and 38 cents off of these because they came from the bins for a dollar and 20 um, we'll definitely pick up winter gear for kids and there are a few more sales um, here that are definitely like that snowboard skiing winter vacation type of um, item and then I sold a see by Bloomingdale's cashmere cardigan in navy with these like accent stripes and royal blue this came also from the New Jersey bins I sold this for $20 on eBay make a profit of $14.80 I sold a lot this month I'm getting real exhausted going through these <laughs> But it, that's good. We're already on October 26th now, so yay for that. Uh, my next sale is a pair of bands I got from Glamour in a men's clothing box that I purchased on one of her auctions. And it's this pair of Ariat New With Tags uh, Flame Resistant Relaxed Boot Cut Work Pants in size 40. These sold on Macari on an offer that I received for $59. I think I had them listed for like 70 maybe, 75 uh, With free shipping, so I paid $9.88 in shipping. And after all of that and my cost of goods, which was about five bucks, um, I make $36.01 on these. And they also sold within three days of listing. So I'm happy with that. I've had them for longer, but it again, took me a while to photograph and list these things. And then another very random active brand sale, these Champion New Attack Side Stripe Sweatpants in this charcoal gray and rose pink color and an extra, extra large. These came from the bins, uh, $1.20 into them. 
uh, up in New Jersey. They sold a Macari for $25.20. Macari started to finally incorporate uh, cents into their pricing and I'm not mad at it um, but I also don't really care so <laughs> these I got uh, from the bins like I said and I make a profit of $14.18 because I paid for shipping and that was like six dollars and seven cents because they were a little bit bigger and you know sometimes you have people on the west coast buying for me on the east coast another quick flip that one was listed for about two weeks this logo Lori Goldstein the tea in this rusty orange color that was a long sleeve tunic top in a size 1x so that definitely helped I had four bucks into that from the thrift it was marked down to a dollar but average cost of goods you know you get it I sold this for $17.99 on eBay and I make a profit of $10.59 and like I said listed for two weeks so so plain I did show that in my ship with me video so the next couple of sales I'm not going to go into too much detail because I showed them already in that video if you see all that um you can hear more about it there I'll, I'll link it above so next up also shown in that video this stranger things tie-dye top crop top in a size 2xl sold on ebay for 12 dollars I make a profit of eight dollars and 40 cents because it came from the bins and I had it for a minute so we were going back and forth with the offers there but yeah I was okay with 12. Then I saw another pair of shoes, um, also one that I had for the longest time, the St. John Vintage Square Toe Classic Black Pumps with this gold tone accent. They sold for $30 on Poshmark, also after some negotiation. I had $3 into them from a regular thrift store and I make a profit of $21. Another item that I showed in that video was also a quick flip, this Tipsy Elves pineapple short sleeve Hawaiian shirt in a size medium that came from the bins uh, very recently and I sold it for $18 on Poshmark and that was an offer to like her and I make $10.98. Right, I need to plug in my camera so hold please. Okay also the sun is turning so I'm about to have like my lines all over my face you can also kind of see it down here so I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible sorry for the weird lighting it's just I'm in my bedroom right now because again the dryer is very loud out there with all my good bins finds that I will show you very soon in a haul uh, another item that I showed you in that uh, ship with me video was this free people Adele velvet v-neck uh, tunic top this is extra small that I also got from a thrift very recently that sold for 25 I had four dollars into it uh, it sold on eBay and I make $16 after all fees and you know all of that good stuff and then my best sale of the month uh for 75 dollars this wild fox it's witchcraft sweatshirt uh, that i got from the thrift in new jersey on dollar day but i had an average cost of goods of 3.95 trying to not have a super crooked camera mm. all right well we'll work with it this sold on ebay like i said for 75 dollars and yeah i make a profit of 59 dollars and five cents very happy with that i had it since may and yeah it sold a little bit late for halloween but it's spooky season all year round if you ask me and then one more sale that i think i showed in that video this cacique online full coverage wireless bra sold uh, on makari for 20 bucks and i make a profit of ten dollars and 48 cents on this one cost of goods was two dollars because it came to me in my thread up 100 pound uh, clothing box now in the ship with me video i also showed you a pair of asos shoes that i sold and unfortunately they are coming back to me uh, they're being returned because the person um said they didn't fit her and she's trying to pull an inat on me which i don't appreciate because my item was as described it's not my fault that they don't fit you so that's all i'm gonna say about that but um yeah they just came back to me i have to get them from the post office which has been closed um, for the holiday so once i get them and inspect them i'll refund her but yeah she's gonna have to pay for that shipping and then I sold a Nike half zip pullover sweatshirt in this teal color um, that I also just listed. Like it sold within a day. It's crazy. Um, I just listed that on, you know, my platforms and it sold on Poshmark. I got it from the bins. I have $1.40 into it and it was an offer to Liker that I sent for $21 and I make a profit of $13.38. It wasn't a plus size. Well, it wasn't a size extra large. So glad that sold so quickly. I debated keeping that, but I have enough. I have enough clothes. Same bins haul, uh, different sweater. <laughs> this Gymshark black uh, hoodie sweater, kind of like a unisex style if you ask me, but I think it was supposed to be a men's. Um, this sold for $27 on Poshmark, also an offer to Liker, and I make $18.80, and it sold within two days of listing. I think that may have been my last sale for October. Yep, 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 it was. Okay, so those were all my sales for the month of October. Let's talk about my stats and, you know, all that all that good stuff how much did i sell 
I'm just stalling for time right now because I need to put that information. So yeah, let's talk about my stats. I sold 54 items, which was slightly more than I sold in September. I sold 52 in September and I listed 107 new items, which was also more than what I did in September. Apparently I listed three new items in September, even though I only relisted things. So I don't know what happened there, but <laughs> either way, I relisted like 500 plus items in September, but nothing new. So um, Vendu is looking at those stats. 107 items listed which is a good amount for me we did have the fall listing challenge which helped of course as well my average sales price went up a smidge by one percent to 23 dollars and 81 cents so happy about that as well and let's look at my marketplace breakdown so in terms of profit and revenue uh it's pretty evenly split between poshmark and ebay and then there's a little bit for macari so on poshmark um if we're looking at profit 41.23% of my profit came from Poshmark this month, 45.42 from eBay. So pretty neck and neck with eBay being a little bit better. Um, and then Macari came in at 13.35% for the uh, profit. My total revenue in the month of October was $1,285.83. Now after fees, shipping costs, um, and also my cost of goods, geez, could not think of the word. My cost of goods, I'm left with a total profit of $838.22, which is one of the better months for me this year. I think this is one of the few times I've gotten, you know, past the 800 mark. So the previous months uh, was really, really hard to get even up to like 700, 600 sometimes. So I'm happy with $833. I still want it to be more. I want to get past the thousand mark in net profit and consistently stay there. So it's really, um, you know, more helpful to me and my family and, you know, paying my bills and also paying off debt. So <laughs> that would be the goal if reselling could pick up again to a point where I can actually, you know, pick up, pay off debt with that. That would be a lot Lovely. But anyway, here we are and we're grateful and we're happy with what we have. And yeah, I look forward to sharing my November sales with you next month. Um, until then, I have a few other videos coming out. I have a Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. We haven't had one of those in a while. And then I'm going to have a massive bins haul, which may just happen in two parts, just given how much I've picked up and how much I've been washing and drying and going through the past day and a half. Um, so that's gonna come up. And then I think I'm also gonna film a thread up update video on a specific type of thread up box I've been getting. So you'll get some more thread up content finally. I'm not feeling this whole lighting situation, like what is going on? Um, so I will, you know, wrap it up here. I've been talking for 45 minutes and I want to thank you for hanging out with me and checking out my sales with me. I hope you become a subscriber if you're not already and I hope you like this video as well and share it with your friends. I look forward to seeing you guys very soon in another video or on a Realist and Relax Live every other Friday. Until then, bye. Cheers.